there was a, a situation where we were on the set one day and uh, uh, one of the young acolytes of his uh, who was not supposed to be in uh, until around four o'clock in the afternoon according to the schedule that we had for the day. Uh, this was now around noon and he shows up on the set. Who's, who is he? I'm not going to tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I go over to him and I said, you know, your, your call is not, he said, I don't mind. He said, I just like to hang around and so forth. I said, oh, well, that's very nice. Great. Uh, so we um, go on with the day and now it's four o'clock and we're ready for this guy. And so he comes over and uh, and I say, if you're just you just come in the room and come up to the top of the desk here and then we'll go from there and so he came in the room and he came up to the top of the desk or and uh, he said and uh, and now here I say something stupid about I wasn't able to get the information and so on uh, I said well, excuse me what what he he said yeah he said that's what I do every show he said I just uh, I come in, I say something stupid, and he says something stupider, and so, and he, and so Raymond then says, uh, "Will it, you? Will you get on with it and say the words that you're supposed to?" And he was smoking a cigarette. He said, "Oh, oh, I seem to have dropped my cigarette. I got nervous when my star uh, started to take exception to my words." And uh, I said, "Come on, fellas, what's what's the real going on here?" He said, well, that's is stupid that I say this. I said, well, what if you say this? Well, okay. Well, Raymond says, now my cue is no longer than my cue. And so I said, well, what if you say this? Anyway, I wrote a little new page thing because I knew it wasn't really about the, the material and gave them to them and they seemed satisfied. So uh, afterwards we shot the scene and we're on to another scene and my assistant director is with me. And I said, you know, that guy came in at 12. He was sitting here all the time, reading the paper and reading magazines and stuff. He could have come up to me and said, listen, I'm not happy with the scene that we're doing. But instead, he creates a damn scene. I get more, and I work myself up. So I go over to the young man, and I said, you know what, if I... <laughs> If I had it in me, I would take you right outside and give you a real thrashing. Now he starts getting up, and as he, he keeps going up, he's about six four. And, and I said, "But I, I've decided I won't do that." <laughs> and uh, he, uh, uh, he was absolutely furious. I, I said, "You, how dare you do something like that? That's very unprofessional. Don't do it again." Uh, really will crack your wrist. Uh, and um, so anyway, he didn't talk to me for about four days, and then he came and he apologized and so forth.